The new Canada Goose Toronto store doesn't have an inventory, but it does have a snowstorm. Oh, I got this one for you, Will. You're out there with the winter coats. You're doing the hiking, walking the dog with the snowboarding and the whole thing. Yeah. You're doing all those things. I'm listening. Well, actually, I was interested in this not because of the coat, the coats themselves. Uh, uh, these Canada Goose coats are, they're so popular. You see them, everyone has these. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. They're warm coats from Canada. Yep. Which is just down the street from us. Not Canada, but Toronto. Jeez, Will. <laughs> Holy, that's, this is no longer is, uh... safe. So rude. So, yeah, the, the code is kind of a meme, actually, but it has been incredibly successful. Tons of growth, by the way, in China. China is the biggest growth market for oh, the Canada they? Goose. And do you, tell me something, Will, do you have to get a Canada, when you get a Canada Goose coat, do you have to get all the fur and stuff? Or can you get one without the fur? I don't have to have the fur if I get the coat. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I can take the fur off. I don't need the fur. Oh, I'm not saying it from the fur. I didn't mean the fur. I'm not, a, I'm not protesting anything. I meant I don't like the look of it, really. I prefer a more tactical kind of look to it. Do you like any of these, Will, by the way? Are you, are you in the market now, or you don't like any? Well, of I've been trying to research, like, a good hiking jacket. So you're dabbling? Yes. You would dabble on a site like this? I do. You yeah. do. You do. I went through this. You do dabble. Well, anyhow, well, the reason I brought it up is not because of the winter coat. It's because they've got this crazy new concept at Sherway Gardens down the street hmm. where it's not a store. There's no inventory. You don't buy a coat and leave with it. Instead, the real estate is used for an experience. And in this experience, you go through what is like a real world uh, kind of terrain with real snow inside the mall. No, you cannot show this. This NBC, CNBC, we're dead. <laughs> we're going to be taken down. Yeah, we're dead. You can't show this. <clears throat> but you can go watch the video if you want. I mean, or I can just basically explain it. You come into this environment within the mall and they have the gear outfitted on racks like you're about to go on an expedition. And you just pick whatever gear you want, put it on, whichever coat speaks to you, and you go to the next. It's almost like a haunted house, but instead it's outdoors vibes. Okay. You put the gear on in the, in the fitting section, and then you continue to march through these uh, simulated outdoor environments, including cold, below freezing, and real snow in the mall. Hmm. And you see how it works in the real environment. And so you're standing in there, you got the coat on, it's a thousand bucks. And you, you maybe you take it, you sit down or you, you just see how the exposure to, to the cold is with the coat on. You're like, man, I'm still warm because hmm. I got the goose down. Yeah. That's how it works. And what happens? Like you just. So you have the experience. Yeah, you go it. through a couple of different climate yeah. scenarios. And at the very end, you are met with a giant screen. And on the screen, you can place your order for the thing you just wore and test it out. You can say, yeah, I'll take it. And then it shows up at your house later that day. Mm. Whoa, what? Because who wants to carry a Canada goose around the mall? Yeah. You want to carry a Canada goose around the mall? That feels really good to say. I guess you can wear it. <laughs> you want to carry a Canada goose around? A, no, you can't wear it in a <laughs> Why mall. Not? You're, no. It's too hot? You're dead, man. You can't be in Sherway Gardens in a Canada goose. Yeah. You're going to get goosed. You're going to be dripping. Yeah. It's not a good look for you. Okay. So, like... <laughs> Uh oh. The selection here. Yes. Is it like uh is it like a regular store? So, you can just pick out So close this, close that one for a second and scroll down. There there you go. Yeah. It's still cool. You can see the features and stuff. I mean, wouldn't all of these coats be warm? 
Yeah, but in, in yeah. a sense, like you're just going through like these corridors. I know, but sometimes Will, it's hard to visualize. Like you ordered the coat and returned the coat. Yeah, you're the perfect candidate. Sometimes it's hard to say, ah, this was gonna be like when I'm outside. Yeah. In a store is really a weird place to test a winter coat. Mm -hmm. It's hot in there. You can't tell. No. I mean, you can just see the fit and stuff. But you can see the fit, but you can't tell. Not for a real world scenario. How warm it's going to be. Because I know for you, you want to be really warm. Eh. You don't I'm, want. I'm well, okay, fine. Then, it, then interesting. Maybe you don't. Maybe a coat. You go outdoors. It's below freezing in their environment, and you say, "I'm actually too hot still. Yeah. I'm going to take the next level down." This is a really. I like this. In case you can't tell, I like this idea. No, it's a really cool experience. And I so there's a, there's one area in a corridor where they have a, a crevasse that you're walking over, and it's glass, but it's cracking as you walk on it, like snow, and it's making a sound effect. Before you get to the rack to select your coat. Mm. And it's just people trying to come up with, it's companies trying to come up with innovative ways to still get you into their premises. Because as you know, you just go online. Yeah. And and what what is the benefit nowadays of going into the physical store? Well, here's a benefit. You can try it on and try it in the elements, no commitment, and you don't have to return it and go through the whole hassle. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if you're on board with me here. I'm just trying to imagine. I guess I have to do it myself to you gotta see. It it's a cool idea. I, I like the innovative, you know, thought right. that right. puts into like the retail experience. Yeah, because increasingly retail, it's not. It's not it, looking good. It's not hot. No. It's and and people are going online and they're fine with it. They will look at a review or they look at a few photos and they order it up and, and that's the end of it. And the problem for Canada Goose there is they're selling a really premium product. I mean, I think their stuff starts at like a thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. It's close. It's very premium product. So if they're going to make the case that you should have it, they, they, they obviously want to show off that it actually, oh, no, it starts a little lower than that. But not, those aren't the real ones. Parkas are a grand. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe you go try it out, Will. Maybe you head to Sherway Gardens in the weekend. It's kind of far, but yeah. maybe you do. And you try it out and you report back. It's a, it's a quick report. It's called The Journey. And you will have your coat, if you buy it at the end, on the smart display, you'll have it at your home that night or the next day if you purchase after 2 p.m. I think that's also a cool feeling, hmm. that the journey is not over yet. You, des you decided you like the thing, and then, but you're still kind of, maybe you get lunch at Sherway Gardens, and later on that evening, the coat shows up. It's kind of a cool, I don't know, uh, a little surprise, even though it's mm -hmm. not a surprise. It's like, oh, yeah, I bought that thing. You elongate the purchase experience which is a thing you kind of want to live in because it's it's fun it's uh it's a romance it's bro. like you reserved the coat and yeah then it's yeah it's a, a couple hours later. it's a relationship you have with your things yeah it's a it's a rom-com <laughs> between you and a canada goose sure <laughs> so the cr the crevasse also from a, a technological perspective are made of oled panels so that's pretty cool the entire thing that you're walking on is OLED panels, so they look really cool. There's an elements room with two curved walls, one 60 feet wide and one 30 feet wide, and it plays seasonal nature films shot in British Columbia from 4K laser projections in the ceiling. And then in the middle of the room is where the merchandise is. There's a gear room, which is a reinterpretation of a seed vault in Norway. I mean, it's just a cool experience. You know people are going to those escape rooms, Will? Human beings are going to escape rooms. Oh, yeah. Have you heard of that? Yeah, I've done one. Yeah, you go in and you're escaping. <laughs> As you do, yes. As you would. It's kind of like that. I don't know. It's a fun thing. I'm a big fan of it. You can tell I'm a big fan of it. So good on them for uh, th thinking outside the box, so to speak. I don't think I'm going to buy one of these. These are too hot for me, I believe. I'm, I would roast. So I think it's too hot for me. But maybe I'll get one of the other ones, the, the more toggled back. Right. Less parka things. And and so that could be cool. But it's a new take on retail in the age, in the internet age.